Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Rick over here at the Funded Project at Metro Media Funding Solutions. Today, we are just going to take a tour of our animation studio here. I guess I, I built a cartoon here of an average day in the life of a business owner where everything falls apart just to kind of show it off. So I hope you all enjoy it. Um, I just threw it together, uh, but this just kind of gives you just an idea of what our animation studio is capable of. No, we're not Disney, um, but uh, we have a good time with it at least. Okay, so Thank you. What are you doing? You missed it. Missed what? The new site. Who has a new site? Metro I hope. Of course. Why are you laughing? Because of your tie. What is wrong with it? It does not match. <laughs> that is an odd couple. The same could be said about us. Let's go get food. I like food. No fast food. Check the time. I can drive faster. Who will stop you? We have to try the local restaurant. Support local business. Absolutely. I am a small business. I support you. Perfect place. They have coffee. I want coffee. We both need it. The next day. Now what? My truck blew up. It really blew up. I have to finish this job. But I can't without my truck. How are you going to fix this? I have no clue. I heard about a company. Metro something, right? Yes, that's it. It's called Metro Media. I am glad they're around. I need a new truck. You better hurry, time is wasting. Thankfully they are fast. Life happens. That is why we have advances. Good call calling Metro. I know. We are always here. Advances are not loans. They are help. Sometimes in an imperfect world, a merchant cash advance is a perfect solution. Stop by fundmybusinessnow.com if you need any more information or apply online. Because life happens. We use the merchant cash advance tool a little bit different. A lot of people that sell it, sell it as working capital for their business or, you know, emergency funds or something. We actually work with these businesses to be able to put that money to work. So if you take, you know, for every dollar that you get, we're going to try to turn it into five dollars um, with your, you know, how we work with your business over the course of time, you know, before the payoff act, before the payoff matures. Mm -hmm. So that's actually been kind of a neat thing for us to be able to work with some of these businesses doing it. And it's worked out very well. Um, and multitudes of success stories. Um, there's a, I've got a 94% retention rate. Um, we work with them very closely, all the way down to their web services, all the way down to videography, all the way down to uh, whatever it takes to get more customers in the door because it's a mathematical formula. No business survives without customers. That's true. So we have to figure out a way to bring more customers into you know, that business, we look at what's working in their industry with other businesses that are similar to it and figure out what's working and what's not and capitalize on the stuff that's working to help them increase their revenue Why they have their pants on so affordability does not become an issue. Right. Well, I'm really big on letting experience uh, build my future and show me and guide me and create wisdom. Um, so I got into this too. Yeah, not to not just to work a business. Yeah, you make good money, but to evolve it, to really change it to something that's a positive mindset and how people can put this money to work. Because merchant cash advances are expensive money, um, but there's a time and a place for it. So that's that's part of the reason why. You know, and I've I've declined files that were approved. Um, you know, done that type of stuff because if I feel like it's going to hurt your business, I don't want you to take it. 
Um, you know, it's all about what helps your business. So Metro Media has been around for a long time. It started off as a media marketing company when we used to sell newspaper subscriptions in front of grocery stores, and, you know, give out gift cards and that type of stuff. They evolved into this little web services type of a company back in the, you know, and then started building websites and all that. It jumped into the funding space back in 2017 on the funding side. But so, you know, that, that model is actually ran over at Metro Media. Even when it sucks, we did the right thing. It doesn't matter if I can make $10,000 off your file with your approval. If it's going to hurt your business and cost jobs in the community, we're not going to be the we're not going to be the agency that runs it. So you know, like when we're dealing with some of these funders and stuff, and some of these funding houses, the way that we the way that we actually look at a file, and how you know usage of funds and how we put that money to work is all the way different than you know just collecting a paper application and a couple months with the bank statements and throwing it at everybody. And it'll take two seconds to look at it. That doesn't happen over here. So it's it's a uh, so the network has actually grown. There's been some businesses that have really taken advantage of it because the cross branding of working with some of these businesses, trying to help them to get in front of a different customer base, just trying to help them to figure it out. You know, it's it's a tool that they use and it works. So not only do you promote um, your business, the small businesses that you um, encounter in your customers. Um, through the funded project um, and that the videos and the episodes that you make, but you also work with the businesses in order to make sure that they have the necessary tools and the knowledge in order to be successful. Yeah, and if exactly it's not going to make them successful, you point that out and you find another way and help them find another way. That's, That's exactly awesome. right. That's, That's exactly awesome. right. You know, the thing is that with the, with Metro Media, the whole thing is that um, it's vetted resources. It's, mm -hmm. it's ones that I know that I would use myself if I was on their side. I would never turn around and send them someplace that I wouldn't talk to or deal with myself. There's such a need in this industry, and that especially in the alternative financing space, merchant cash advance space. There's unfortunately so many bad actors out there that tell these people something that's not happening. And uh, it's just, it, it doesn't matter what's going on. And everybody, if they, if they trust you enough to work with you with their business, they deserve one thing, and that's to know where they're at and the truth. Um, what's kind of neat with it is that the, the corporate charity side, the funding project, if you will. So we've done a lot of neat things in the community to try to help some of these other businesses out there. You know, not so much just trying to go sell them money or anything like that, but we've gifted a lot of money out there. We've, we've given away a lot of money. You know, web services that normally only a large organization would be able to have. Right. Customer right. management system, right. make sure that those resources were there and available for them. Just normal folks, mm -hmm. yeah, it just happens to deploy money into businesses. Right. Hey, it's nothing wrong with it as long as, you know, when you're deploying that money that we're putting it to work in a positive aspect. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. We just want it to go to work for that business to help grow that business. Uh, is mm -hmm. it, you know, do we guarantee that everything that we put out there is going to work? No, it's, it's, nobody can, you mm -hmm. know, there's no guarantee in the world, you know, no one had, and it's such a need and it was, one of those things that with the funded project, we had to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, what was my deciding factor to go ahead and start the show? Um, I was dealing with uh, a customer that had came in off of a, uh, that's one of these uh, live transfer guys or something. And um, he was, uh, he owned a several pizzerias and the guy was really in bad shape. He had 53 people on his payroll. He couldn't pay him. He didn't know what to do. And um, he was really jammed up and uh, he basically, he told me, he was like, I can't face my employees. He told me he was going to drive his truck into the side of a wall. And that's exactly what he did. He killed himself. And, um, you know, so there was a voice out there that never got a chance to be heard. And that sucks because, you know, people don't realize the support structure that, you, that is absent for some of these business owners out there. It's absent. So when they get calls from everybody that's just trying to bamboozle them into this, that, and the other, you know, it's really a stressful situation for them because typically these business owners, they're the rock in their circle. You know, everybody's leaning on them. What happens if they need somebody to lean on? What happens if they need to go find resources? You know, there's so much stuff that happens behind the scenes in a business. Some of these business owners like that, they work 15, 20 hours a day and do it with a smile on their face like it's no big deal. 
and you've been through those experiences and everything, and learning through those experiences is what's making you as great as you are today. Yeah, it's just, you just keep on fighting the good fight for it because our work's not over out here. You know, there's so many businesses out there that don't have access to the right resources. They don't know what to do because a lot of times a business will jump, somebody will jump into business, you know, for several reasons. Mm -hmm. But what we find during the pandemic, um, and nobody had a pandemic in their business model either that right. shut down the whole planet. So right. that's, that caused a whole plethora of other issues. Right. But nobody nobody realizes that a lot of these businesses, over half of them out there, they start in an anger startup almost, if you will. Like they're frustrated with what's going on with their jobs and they want to do something for themselves. Mm -hmm. And they stand up and they start doing it for themselves. Mm -hmm. There's also another part of it where they actually, some of these businesses out there, they may have wanted to go to work someplace else and never been offered a job. Right. So they started their own. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these people, they turn around and they jam their personal credit up and they jam their debt to income ratio up to the hill and they mess everything up on their personal credit, do everything they can because they believe in themselves enough to build that mm -hmm. business in the first place. Mm -hmm. And then they don't know what to do once they, you know, they've got bills due and it's not doing what it wanted, what they wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what's neat about the funded project is we kind of work with, you know, better resources to make sure they have it, mm -hmm. so uh, they can they can survive that and continue to grow and hit their dream. Right. It's you, not about me. You, you, you teach them, you to allow them to make them. decisions, and you help them through those decisions. And that well, that way they learn so they don't get back in that situation. That's exactly right. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. You know, that makes sure that you know you pay attention to certain things like, hey, what are my what are my materials cost here at? What are you know why what need in the marketplace am I meeting that my competition's not meeting? How do I identify that and show that to my customers so I can see more customers? Mm -hmm. These types of things, any type of business, it doesn't matter if it's a service or a product or whatever it is, it, you know, it goes back down to the same exact mathematical theory. No business survives without customers, no matter what kind of business it is.